begin with an update on a story we broke on Tuesday. District 10 Republican Representative David Cole was arrested and charged with voter fraud. He has since pleaded guilty and submitted his resignation. WAFF 48th Claudia Peppenhorst joins me now in studio. Claudia, Cole represented thousands of people in Madison County. So what's next in the process to fill his seat? Well, Margo, we reached out to several state officials to get that answer. Governor Kay Ivey's office and the former Secretary of State John Merrill say the process is pretty straightforward. House District 10 Representative David Cole was arrested on Tuesday for voting fraud at unauthorized locations, a Class C felony. He has since resigned and signed a plea agreement. But still, one question remains. What's next in the procedure to fill that now vacant seat? Former Secretary of State John Merrill says the answer is simple. Whenever there's a legislative vacancy, the only way a vacancy can be filled in the Alabama legislature is for the governor to call a special election. And that's exactly what she plans to do, according to a spokesperson with the governor's office. They're not ready to set a date for that election just yet. Until that special election is settled, the seat will remain empty. Merrill says vetting these candidates is the responsibility of the state GOP. The Republican Party at the state level is the one that it's incumbent upon to ensure that those names that have been submitted for consideration are actually eligible to serve. Elijah Boyd, the libertarian candidate who ran against Cole, brought the suit that unraveled Cole's political career. Boyd says concerns about where Cole actually lived were brought to him by community members, and it was something that he simply could not ignore. I was surprised. Um, it's definitely not what I wanted out of this, um, and it's, but it's way more than I expected. I brought it as a citizen of District 10, not as a contender um, in, the, in the general election. Now, Cole is also a physician here in Madison County. A member of the Alabama Board of Medical Examiners and Medical Licensure Commission says Cole is still able to practice for the time being. They added that an investigation will open, the board will make a recommendation, and the commission will decide whether to revoke his license.